Tom DeLay. Uh, this guy is another awesome hypocrite. I mean, you want to talk about hypocrite? Tom DeLay is on CNN with Candy Crowley, and he's going to talk about how the Democrats bully the Republicans too much. If you guys don't remember, Tom DeLay, when he was running the Republican Party uh, in the House, that was what he was known for. He was the hammer. All he did was bully. Sometimes, if the Democrats wanted to hold a hearing when they were in the minority, he'd make them hold it in the basement. One time, one of his uh, you know, fellow Republican leaders cut a mic from the Democrat in the middle of speaking. Did they ever consult the Democrats on policy? <laughs> Tom DeLay consult Democrats on policy. you got to be kidding me. But nonetheless, with a straight face, here's Tom DeLay, clip one. Now I'm going to give you a chance to politically consult um, for Nancy Pelosi and uh, for uh, Senator Reid. They've got a Democrat-controlled House, a Democrat-controlled Senate, a Democrat in the White House. Uh, and yet they're having some trouble getting health care through. I think what they're doing wrong is, is because of arrogance. They have huge majorities. We never had more than a 17-vote majority. We got down to a 5-vote majority at one time. Never did we have 60 votes in the Senate. Uh, and you would think you could pass anything and pass it quickly with those kinds of majorities. Why, why can't they? Mm -hmm. It's because they're going back in rooms and then telling the members, take it or leave it. You can't do that. I, it's obvious. Uh, I invented something called grow the vote because and we would, we would get to an issue early on before a bill was even introduced and we would work through the regular process and, and we knew which members were having problems and we'd take care of those problems so that by the time it got to the floor they wanted to vote for it because they had ownership of it. Um, Nancy Pelosi writes the bill, hands it to the chairman, says get it out of committee in an hour and we're going to the floor, we're going to debate it, debate it in the hour and I'll break arms if you vote against me. That will come to haunt you and bring you down. Uh, we have no organization, nothing near what uh, the Democrats have built over the last 10 years. They have one of the most powerful political coalitions I've ever seen. But there is a rage in this country, and I've been sitting outside of D.C. for a long time, that I have never witnessed before. Hmm. Oh, that's, oh, God, the irony is so rich. Okay. First of all, as I told you, Tom DeLay, all he did was bully people, twist arms, etc. But I want to break down uh, the words for you. He said, uh, I had a thing called grow the vote, okay? And we took care of people's problems and gave them ownership of the bill. Do you know what that means? That means we said, hey, look, if you play ball, I'm going to give you a pork barrel project in your district. So all of a sudden you have ownership in the bill, okay? And then you want to take care of the problems that they had. Or sometimes they said, hey, look, if your son is going to run in your seat. This was a specific uh, case that actually happened. Um, either we're going to give him money to run in your district, or we're going to give his opponent money to run. That's what Tom DeLay did. That's how he broke arms to use his parlance, right? So for him to come and pretend like, oh, all we did that was we held hands and sang kumbaya when we were in charge. Are you kidding me? says it with a straight face. And by the way, th these are supposed to be the, remember, uh, the pork barrel projects that the Republicans are now theoretically livid about. But the reality is, the reason that the Republicans spent so much is because Tom DeLay would, quote unquote, grow the vote by giving people ownership in the bill. And that's how he did it. Now, if you think uh, DeLay's hypocrisy is bad, wait till you get a load of his heartlessness and his comments on the unemployed. Here he is again with Candy Crowley. You know, there's, there's a, an argument to be made that these extensions of this unemployment benefits keeps people from going and finding jobs. Um, in fact, there's a study that, uh, there's some studies that have been done that shows that people stay on uh, unemployment compensation and they don't look for a job until two or three weeks before the, the, they know the uh, uh, benefits are going to run out. Um, so that it, Congressman, that's such a hard sell, isn't it? I mean, it, it's, uh, it, it's you know, to truth. say, well, people are unemployed because they want to be. Well, it is the truth. Um, and and uh, people in the real world know it. Um, and they have friends that they, and they know it. Oh, man. You're in the real world, you son of a... In the real world, 
people get laid off a job they've been doing 20, 30 years. Now, how the hell are they supposed to turn around in a couple of weeks and find a new job? They're going to try their damnedest, and they do. You know why? They've got a family to feed. You think they're unemployed because they want to be? You think they're all lazy? You think 10% of the country that's unemployed is just lazy? And the fact that they, we give them unemployment <laughs> makes them go, oh, yeah, yeah. Who needs a real job when I get a fraction of that money from unemployment? Unreal, man. We talked about this before. Are there some people who will stay on unemployment a little longer to try to get a better job? Or uh, will milk, this, milk the system a little bit? Of course there are. There are in every system. Okay? Is that the majority of the people? You've got to be nuts. You think you live in the real world? You think in the real world the majority of people that are unemployed want to be unemployed? Because they can get money from a little bit of money from the government. No, they want to have a job and provide for their family. You don't know a damn thing about the real world. But you see, this is how Republicans view you. They view you as lazy bums, uh, you know, out of the goodness of his heart, Tom DeLay is giving you money for unemployment. You know, and if he wants to cut it off at any point, he can. Okay? Uh, you know, so stop trying to be unemployed. Stop, you know, uh, losing your job on purpose. I keep saying it over and over because I, I can't believe it. Unreal. These are the guys that are winning? <laughs> I mean, they're not. That's why they got right, run out of town in 06 and 08. But now they've turned it around. And you see the glee with which he thought, talked about rage in the country. He's like, there's a rage in the country. And we can't wait to capitalize on it. Mm. All right, that's great. Yeah, but don't, please, please, if you're a real American, don't get fooled by these guys. You think they have your interests in mind? They don't have your interests. They want to keep making money off you. So obvious.